This is the final wager for Monday, October 21st, 2013. Our unlikely champ from Friday, Nolan, is back for his first defense. He's trailing going into final against Bill. Sharon's in a distant third. We look at Nolan and Bill. If Nolan doubles up, he'll have 15,600. That means Bill will want to wager at least 5,000. If Bill gets it wrong, he'll have 5,600. That means that Nolan would want to wager no more than 2,200. The difference between these two scores is 2,800. Neither player can make a safe wager of that amount. Now for second and third, Nolan, Sharon. Nolan can wager up to 5,800 against Sharon, but that's more than he can already wager against Bill. So we'll disregard that for now. Now we look at how our players did. Didn't really matter what Sharon wagered. She wagered everything and got it right, bringing her up to 2,000. Nolan went second and got it wrong and revealed a wager of 5,600. Now, that's the same wager he made on Friday. Is that a coincidence? Maybe, maybe not. Let's turn to rule number three continued. It says that if it's safe, a player wants to cover an unsafe wager by the other. Nolan's in an interesting spot. If he wagers 2,200, he'll still be below Bill's total. So if Bill thinks he's going to go small, Bill might wager zero. So maybe he should go big. But how big? Bill can wager up to 2,800 to stay above Nolan's score. If he gets it right, he'll have 13,400. Therefore, Nolan should cover by wagering 5,600. That's exactly what he wagered. So we'll give him an orange for this. Not the optimal wager, but the next best thing. Finally, Bill wagered 5,100, got it right, and will return tomorrow. A little bit much for my liking, but hey, he's the champ. We'll see you tomorrow.